Let's say someone fills out your contact form and a few seconds later, they get a call. Hello? Hello. Am I speaking with Brian? Yes, this is Brian. Great, Brian. This is Theo from Fincher. Am I reaching you at a good time? Yeah, we can talk. Not from you, but from your AI assistant. And the best part, it all happens automatically. Sounds advanced. It's actually easy to set up. In this video, I'll show you how to create a voice agent that can make calls, talk to customers, follow up with them, and respond instantly, all without writing a single line of code. It saves time, keeps your customers engaged, and makes sure you never miss a lead. So stick around, and I'll walk you through the entire setup step by step. I'm Brand from Website Learners, and let's get started. To create your AI voice assistant, we are going to do three parts. The first part is to create your AI voice agent. To do that, we are going to do five steps. And the first step is to create your account on Retail AI. Now, Retail AI is an AI voice platform that lets you build and deploy human-like voice agents. To create an account on Retail, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Click Try for free. Sign in using your Gmail account. Enter your phone number. Click Continue. Enter the OTP that you received and again click continue. And now we have successfully created the account on Retail. Now we can move on to the next step which is to set up your voice agent. To do that, click create agent and select voice agent. And here you will get four different types of agents to choose from. Each one is built for a specific type of task. For example, if you are handling complex transitions, you might go with conversation flow agent. If you are planning longer calls with multiple steps, the multi prompt agent could be the better fit. I'm going to select the single prompt agent. This one is for quick tasks. You can just give it one instruction and it gives you the answer right away. Now choose start from blank and click create. Next, we'll pick the model and the voice. Now this is where you'll set up the agent's response and how it will sound to the customer. To select the model, click here and you'll see several options. Each model has different capabilities. Some models are faster, some handle longer conversations better, and some give more accurate responses. So I'm gonna go with GPT 4.1 mini because it's fast, reliable, and great for short, goal-based calls. So you can select the model based on your needs. And next, choose the voice for the agent. Retail AI offers a variety of voices with different accents, tones, and speaking styles. You can pick the voice that sounds more natural to your audience and I'm choosing this one. Hi, I'm Gilfoy. Need a hand with something? Just let me know how I can make your day a bit easier. And now we have successfully set up the model and the voice for our agent. Next, let's move on to the third step, which is to add the agent response script. In this step, we are going to tell the agent how it should respond during a conversation by giving the complete response script. If you already have a clear idea of how you want your agent to reply, you can just go ahead and write your prompt here. Make sure it's clear and specific so the agent knows how to respond. Now, to make things easier, I've already created a ready-made prompt template for you. Once we enter that prompt into ChatGPT, it'll ask a few questions and after you answer them, it'll generate the full response script for the agent. To get the prompt, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this page. Now copy the prompt Open ChatGPT and paste it here. Now ChatGPT will ask you a few simple questions about your business, like your business type, your business name, and what do you want to name your AI agent. Once you enter those, ChatGPT will give you a ready-made script tailored for your business. Once you have the script, copy it. Go back to Retail AI, paste it here, and click Save. Now we have successfully added the script for the conversation, so we can move on to the next step, which is to set up the functions and the knowledge base for the agent. Now here we need to set up how the agent will perform the functions like ending calls, transferring calls, or sending SMS. Also, we'll add a knowledge base by adding a website details so it can answer common questions about your business. So let's start by setting up functions. Go to functions. 
Click Add. First, set up the end call function. This tells the AI when to end the conversation and ensure the call ends smoothly. Click on end call. Copy the function name. Click save. Now go back to the prompt you added earlier. Find the part where the agent ends the call and paste the function name you just copied. So when the conversation reaches that point, the AI will know exactly what action to perform and how to end the call correctly. Next, let's add the call transfer functions. This allows the AI agent to transfer the call to a support team when needed. So just choose call transfer and enter the phone number you want the call to be forwarded to. You can update this number anytime you want. Now copy the function name. and click save. Paste it into the prompt where you want the call transfer to happen. In the same way, you can add the other functions to the script. Now let's move on to the knowledge base. Adding this can help the AI know more details about your business, like the services you offer, the pricing, policies, or questions customers ask, so that the AI agent can respond accurately when a customer asks a question during the call. To add a knowledge base, go to knowledge base, Click here, then click add and you'll see different ways to provide information. You can either add a website link, upload files or enter the information manually. I'm going to add my website link. So head over to your website, copy the link and paste it here. Then click save. You will now see a list of sitemaps from your website. Select all of them and click save again. Give this knowledge base a name and click save. And now your website content has been uploaded. So let's go back to the previous tab and add the uploaded file to our agent's knowledge base. And that's it. Now that we have successfully set up the actions and the knowledge base, your AI agent can now respond to the customer's questions using real information from your business. Now let's test that and see how it works. Just click test and start the conversation. Hello? Hello, am I speaking with you? May I have your name please? And the agent will respond to you. Yeah, my name is Brian. Great. This is Theo from Fincher. Am I reaching you at a good time? Yes, we can talk. Thank you. Based on the information you've provided, we'll connect you with the right specialist for your needs. You can expect a follow up shortly. Have a great day. So once the conversation is over, the call will automatically end. As you can see, there are a few more settings to fine tune your agent, like speech setting, call setting, and post call analysis. You can explore those if needed. Now let's click publish so that the AI agent can start using their information during conversations. Once you've published your agent, we can proceed with the payment. This is needed because to use the free $10 credits you get, a payment method must be added first. Don't worry, you won't be charged until you go beyond the free $10. To do the payment, click here, then click change payment method and it will take you to this page. Now click add payment method, choose the payment method and add the payment details. Click add and that's it. We have successfully added the payment method and we can move on to the next step which is to get a phone number for your agent. Once you set up the agent, we need to get a phone number for the agent so that your AI will use it to make and receive calls when your customers contact your business to the website, email or chat. So to get a phone number for your AI agent, go to phone number. Here select the provider of your choice. Once done, just click save. Then select the outbound call agent. We select this because the AI assistant will call the customer after they fill out the form. Since the assistant is making the call, it's an outbound process. Now click here to verify your outbound calls. This helps to prevent spam and confirms that you are a genuine user. So click start verification. Click begin verifying. Select your country. Choose any of the IDs to verify your identity. I'm going to select driving license. You need to take the front and back photo of your ID. 
and that's it. We have successfully got the phone number for the agent. Your AI voice agent now has its own phone number and it's ready to start making calls. Okay, so now we've successfully created our AI voice agent using Retail AI. Next, we're going to automate this process so that the AI agent can start making calls on its own whenever a customer takes action like signing up or making a request. So let's go to the second part of this video, which is to automate the voice agent workflow with NA10. Now, NA10 is an automation platform that lets us build workflows that connect different apps and services together without writing a single line of code. We'll set up a simple workflow that tells the AI agent when to call and what info to use. Now, to automate the voice agent in NA10, we are going to do four simple steps. And the first step is to get the NA10 hosting. Now, there are three different ways you can use NA10. The first option is to host NA10 locally on your own computer. The first option is free, but it is more complex to set up. The second option is using WebSpace Kit for hosting NA10. This is the most quickest and the low cost way to host NA10. This costs just $5 per month or 400 Indian rupees per month. It's easy to use with zero setup required. You also get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. The third option is the NA10 Cloud which is the official platform by NA10. This costs £24 per month, which is approximately $27. It's much more expensive and the features are limited too. In this video, we're going to purchase NA10 from WebSpace Kit, where we get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. Since NA10 is open source, you get much more benefits when you host it on your own on a platform like WebSpace Kit. So to host NA10 on WebSpace Kit, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Now scroll down and click choose plan. Here choose how long you want the hosting for. Fill in these details. Enter your payment details and click check out. So now we have successfully made the payment and got our NATN hosting. Now click here and you can see that we've got the NATN hosting. So let's go to step two, which is to set up NA10. To do that, go to setup, fill in these details, click next, and it'll take you to this page. This is where we are going to automate our voice agent. Okay, NA10 runs on a workflow based system where you build flowcharts like this to connect different services to automate tasks. You can create a workflow from scratch, but it takes a lot of time, especially if you're new to NA10. Also, there's a chance you'll miss a few key steps or run into errors. So to make things easier, I've already created a workflow that automates the voice agent. So let's see how we can use this. So let's move to step three, which is to import the workflow template. To import the template, we need to first download the template. And to do that, click start from scratch. Go back to this tab. Scroll down and here you'll find different workflow templates for various AI agents. Select the workflow you want. And since we are creating the voice agent, let's select that and click download. And it will be downloaded to your computer. Once you download the workflow template, to import it, go back to NA10. Then click here. Select import from file. Upload the file you just downloaded. And as you can see here, we've got our workflow. So now we have successfully imported the workflow and we can move to the final step which is to connect the voice agent to the workflow. To connect the voice agent, click on the HTTP request node, then click here. And here we need to enter the API key from Retail AI. So to get the API key, let's go to Retail, go to Keys, and as you can see, we've got the API key here. Copy it, go back to the workflow, paste it here, And once you've added the API key, scroll down and click here. To complete connecting the voice agent to the workflow, we need to add the phone number and the ID of the voice agent. To get the number, go to Retail, click on the phone number, copy it, come back to NA10 and paste it here. In the same way, you can also add the agent ID. Go to Retail. Click on Agents, go to the agent that we have created, copy the agent ID, 
then paste it here and click save and now we have successfully connected the voice agent to the workflow now let's test the workflow if i add the details here and click get a call hello hello am i speaking with brian yes this is brian great brian this is theo from fincher am i reaching you at a good time yeah we can talk thank you brian you recently submitted a form regarding our finance solutions i just need a few quick details to proceed to better assist you are you looking to get started immediately or are you still exploring your options i'm still exploring my options understood brian that helps us tailor our support accordingly you also mentioned a budget in the form is the budget you provided still accurate or has anything changed? The budget is accurate. Thanks for confirming, Brian. We'll keep your budget in mind when recommending a specialist. To schedule a follow-up, could you share a preferred day and time range for a call? I would actually like to talk to a higher authority right now. Is that possible? Absolutely, Brian. I'll connect you with a specialist who can assist you further. Please hold for a moment while I transfer your call. Hi, Brian. This is Aman. I'm the senior consultant here. So tell me what you need. Hey Aman, I would like to talk about my options in detail. You can also see the call history and the transcript of the call by clicking here. You can see the call transcription. And that's it. We have successfully automated the voice call agent. So let's go to the final part of this video, which is to connect the voice agent workflow to the website. To connect this voice agent to our website, we are going to add the contact form on our website. So when people enter their details and click submit, the AI agent can start the call. Now every website is different and the method for adding the form to the website may vary. In this example, I'm using a WordPress site to show you how it works. If you're also using a WordPress website, you can follow along. So to add the form, go to your website. And if you're using WordPress, click edit with Elementor. Here search for HTML. Drag and drop the widget. And now we need to add the HTML code from the form. To get the code, go to the document, scroll down, now copy the code, paste it here, now go to NA10, click on the form submission, and as you can see, until now our workflow is in test mode. Now to make your voice agent live, switch to the production URL, copy this form URL, close this tab, then click here to activate the workflow, and once you're done, go back to your website, replace the form URL here, and as you can see, a contact form has been added to the website. Now click publish. and we have successfully connected the workflow to our website. And that's it. Your AI voice agent is now fully connected to your website using NA10. To start building this workflow for yourself, you need to launch NA10 on WebSpace Kit. And to do that, you can just click here and it'll take you to the same page that we saw in the first step. So go ahead and start creating workflows. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.